Here, you can see the rough procedure. Here, you can see the rough procedure for programming the safety program. This will be explained in more detail in the following steps 9 to 17. In the project tree of the FCPU, double click on Safety Administration. In the area navigation of the Safety Administration Editor, switch to F Runtime Group. The automatically created F Runtime Group and the FOB with the associated main safety block are displayed when you create the FCPU. In the area navigation of the Safety Administration Editor, switch to Settings. Here you can make the settings for the safety program. Keep the pre-assigned settings for this example, however. Create a new PLC tag table in the FCPU project tree under PLC Tags with Add New Tag Table. Rename the new PLC tag table to Safety Program using the F2 key. Double click the PLC tag table to open it. Assign symbolic names for the input and outputs, as shown here. Go to the Program Blocks folder of the FCPU and double-click Add New Block. Under Name, enter Safety Interlock as the name of the FFB. Click the Function Block button. Then, enable the Create F Block option. Make sure that FBD is selected as the language for the Function Block. Close the dialog box with OK to apply the settings. Create a static tag of the bool data type named EN Safety Door in the interface of FFB Safety Interlock. Insert the SF door instruction into Network 1 from the Safety Functions subfolder of the Instructions Task Card. Click OK to confirm the Call Options dialog. Supply the input in 1. Supply the remaining inputs and outputs as shown here. Insert one invert RLO each at the inputs QBAD in 1 and QBAD in 2 from the Instructions Task Card. Create a static tag of the bool data type named EN Safety in the interface of FFB Safety Interlock. Insert the AND Logic Operation instruction into Network 2. Insert the ESTOP1 instruction into Network 2 from the Safety Function subfolder of the Instructions Task Card. Click OK to confirm the Call Options dialog. Connect the output of the AND Logic Operation instruction to the ESTOP input of the ESTOP1 instruction.
insert a third input at the AND logic operation instruction by clicking on the yellow star. Supply the inputs and outputs as shown here. Insert the AND logic operation instruction into network 3. Insert the FD back instruction into network 3 from the safety function subfolder of the instructions task card. Click OK to confirm the call options dialog. Connect the output of the AND logic operation instruction to the ON input of the FD back instruction. Supply the inputs and outputs of the instruction as shown here. Insert another invert RLO at the QBAD FIO input from the instructions task card. Insert the ACGL instruction into Network 4 from the Safety Function subfolder of the instructions task card. Click OK to confirm the Call Options dialog. Supply the input as shown here. Double-click in the project tree to open the main safety block, Main Safety. Use drag and drop to insert the safety interlock FFB into Network 1 of the main safety block. Click OK to confirm the Call Options dialog. Select the FCPU in the project tree. In the shortcut menu for the FCPU, under Download to Device, select Software, Only Changes. If an online connection to the FCPU does not yet exist, you're prompted to establish this connection. Click the Load button. To download the entire safety program, the FCPU must be in Stop mode. Check in the dialog whether the F Collective signatures are identical online and offline. If so, the download operation was successful. If not, repeat the load operation. Click the Finish button. Switch the FCPU from Stop to Run mode. The display of the FCPU shows you the current status of the safety mode in the Overview menu item under Failsafe. You have now finished creating the safety program according to the task assignment for the example.